Oh god. Oh gosh. That was terrible. And it's so blue. Um, greetings YouTubers, it's me B. I'm coming to you live out of my bedroom with very blue lighting and oh gosh, I look awfully oily. See if it, just by touch, if I can make that better. Doubtful. So, um, I don't really know why I came on here. I guess actually I was just re recently, um, checking out my stats and they seem to be increasing. So I'd like to say thank you to people who like are subscribers and that would, that regularly come to check me out because like, it's pretty sweet. Um, I'm just looking at my bed for the people that have, um, read me over my bed. Uh, <laughs> I'm out of it. Um, for the people that read me over my bed, um, obviously I'm not keeping up with keeping my bed neat. It, it looks so bad. Um, even the sheet is all fucked up. Um, I have a habit of kicking my feet, I guess, when I lay in bed at night or when I sleep, I like to rub my feet back and forth or, or I don't know if it's when I'm asleep or sometimes just like from laying there, I'm just laying there and I'm like working my feet. I like to rub my feet on the, um, ouch. I don't know what's happening here. There's something in my eye. <laughs> I can't look up. I want to open my eye. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hi to everybody on YouTube. Um, I kind of wanted to, gosh. I kind of wanted to just um, hop on. And talk about stuff but like obviously again when I sit in front of the camera I feel like there's nothing interesting like when I'm when I'm away YouTube I think about all these I have all these thoughts and I think wow that would be an interesting thing to say on YouTube or um oh that's a great that's a funny that's a hilarious commentary I should say that on YouTube and then I sit down here in front of the camera and I like am sitting here hearing my own voice I'm like god that is so stupid um, well, I don't know. Like I thought that they, uh, I don't know if you guys heard about the app is my son gay. I don't know. That's like kind of like an interesting topic lately. I mean, everybody thinks it's terrible, but I think, you know, maybe some parent really would use that, um, in a positive way. And, um, I'm sure a lot of those stereotypical things that people attribute to gay youths are probably true. Hello. I wish someone would have like, I wish my mom had is my son, the is my son gay app because then maybe she would have been like, Oh, hello. My, my son is a total queen or my son is a woman is really what like, I wish she would have known that early. So maybe like I could have gone on hormones before puberty, but I mean that, that is really like, um, What's the right word? That's really an advanced thought. I mean, like, to put a child on hormones, like, that would need to be, like, you know, something that's, like, researched heavily. Hello. So, but, I mean, I don't even know that being on hormones as an adult has been researched heavily. So, obviously, like, I would have done it anyway. So, might as well have started on it at 12. Um, then my balls wouldn't have dropped. No, I don't know if that's, I don't know, is that what happens? Your balls drop? I guess at age 29, my balls dropped off into the trash. So, um, yeah, well, that is my son gay app. I mean, like everybody was giving it a bad rap, but I mean, like maybe there's some mother out there that's using that and thinking like, oh, wow, my son may be gay. Maybe like I should give him a little bit more nurturing or, or try to, you know, notice the warning signs perhaps of like someone that's that's getting bullied at school every day but just hello super embarrassed about it enough that they're not going to come home and tell their mom i mean you already feel like a powerless pussy so then you're gonna go home and tell your mom that everyone at school is making fun of you or or, or bullying you like obviously that's not happening because like i know that fortunately for me i was never like physically abused 
but I was definitely made fun of in high school. And, um, I mean, now I don't give a shit, but I mean, like, I remember back then I was like sick over it because I felt, you know, first of all, I felt like less than, and, um, I was nervous because I always was thought I might get hurt. And, uh, the last thing I wanted to do was tell my mom, you know, so you just kind of keep it, keep going and acting like nothing's wrong. And, um, but anyway, I mean, I'm getting like all excited about that, but, um, I don't know what else there was to talk about. Um, I like read, I love the Drudge Report and, um, I love current events. So, um, I read, there's so much to read out there, you know, headlines and news stories. So I should really like, I'm scratching my kind of like upper back, but it could be my ass. No, but hey, YouTube, I, I, um, I think I told you guys that I have a boyfriend and, um, he's wonderful, obviously. <laughs> and, uh, what was the point? Oh, that I think I'm going to make a video that I'm like, not naked or even partially naked, but maybe one where I'm kind of like dressed like a total whore. No, that's not accurate. Um, I feel like a bit of gas coming on. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, like I was saying, uh, I'm, I love my boyfriend and he's wonderful. And he approved of me doing something like that in an attempt to try to get more traffic, more hits. Because, like, I think that I'm obsessed with um, being somebody. And, uh, well, yeah, no, I am. I am obsessed with being somebody. But the thing of it is, is I think that admitting that you want to be somebody is uh, lame. You know, I mean, when I say be somebody, I mean, like, I would love to be a personality, like to maybe like take this whole YouTube thing and maybe the platform of being like a theist, conservative, transsexual, and um, trying to get my voice heard a little bit more. So I figure, you know, the thing of it is, though, if I show my, my tits and ass or my big stomach, uh, I'm only going to get more people that want to fuck me or want to masturbate to me or, you know, want to have me involved in some kind of ex extreme and creative, I'm sure, sexual fantasy. Um, so is that the kind of traffic that I want? But I mean, like, or is it any hit is a good hit? I keep leaning my head forward because you see, like, I have like a giant head. Okay. It's un it's undeniable. And, uh, I keep shining the light on it. Like, oh my gosh, it looks like I've got a, uh, goozle. I've got a protrusion. I have like a, I, uh, look like the daughter of Mask. Who would Mask have fucked to make me? I don't know. The love child of, people tell me I, I look like, um, what's her name? Sometimes Liv Tyler. And I, I, I kind of, I mean, in some ways I see it. So I could be the love child of, um, Rocky Dennis and Liv Tyler. And, uh, I got my mother's eyes, but I got my father's head. I got my father's, I got my father's head shape. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, I don't know. I got this big pimple. My face is just like a series of lumps and bumps. But, uh, wow, nine minutes. I didn't really want to make a video for a while because I wanted, um, estrogen to be the landing video. Like when you came to my page, I wanted, I wanted everybody to see estrogen because like, I love it. You know, I just did it kind of as, as, um, personal enjoyment, but I don't mind sharing it. I have some friends like, um, some of my, uh, Pittsburgh drag queen circle friends, like they have that on CD and, um, they like it. And, uh, I have a friend that moved to New York and was working up there and, uh, I think she said she turned some of her friends onto it up there, which is pretty flattering because like, um, I made it and, um, it is funny how hormone changes the situation, how hormones change the situation. Obviously they give me new hair and they give me new bum. They give me new boobs and they give me no cum. You ask where are yours? I say, I already ate them. I did eat my last hormone today. I'm waiting for a refill. Um, gosh. 
Oh. Oh, harsh. Blue, the sun. Harsh. Rays. Oh my god, look how gross I look in this light, though. All of the ruddiness and stuff. I need Fraxel. I need electrolysis. I need a new pussy. I want to make some money, you guys, so I can buy a new pussy. Or someone email um, Dr. Marcy Bowers and tell her to give me charity. I'm joking. I mean, like, well, charity would be nice. But I don't know. The hair is looking kind of like stringy at this point. Um, but it was a good hair day originally. But I'm, go I'm gone over 10 minutes. This is getting ridiculous. Um, I'll tell you guys the story next time about how. Some of my coworkers recently found out I'm transsexual and what the result of the, I don't know what you'd call that, the leak, the wiki leak, no, it's not wiki, wacky leak, something like that, squid beak leak. Um, but thanks you guys for uh, tuning in. As always, I appreciate it. And, um, I'm flattered that people like think I'm interesting because like I love to talk and I love to hear myself talk. So I'm glad that other people like to hear me talk because it brings me joy. So uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, Y'all come back now you're here. And um, what's a good ending in the line or something? You think a person would write this down first. I don't know. I don't know. just stare <sighs> all right YouTube I guess I'll see you next time oh I should what I should do first though actually is put the mouse over the like the stop button because I say okay bye everybody see you next time and then I hear mousing mousing away so what I'll do this time is I will say ta-ta dash homies